Okay, so this is how we do the detailing. Uh, we go over the whole table or door or whatever the project may be. And um, all the little pinholes, like no, matter, like no matter how tiny they are, we go over everything and uh, fill up any little spots or little imperfections. This is the uh, Wellington Native Door Project that we're working on. And uh, we're just going over the whole table and as you can see, Ray's um, uh, just using a little stick, a very, very tiny little stick. And um, going over the little tiny pinholes that's all over the door. So there's all natural cracking. We filled all of this when we, um, uh, before we did all the planning. Um, but we have to go through, after it's all been planned and sanded, more little pinholes appear and some of them are like literally uh, the top of a pinhead. Um, so we're just going through filling all the pinholes and um, but then once that's all done then the whole top will be seal coated again and then after that it gets another sand and then after the sanding we go over the whole piece again uh, just to make sure there's no more pinholes, make sure everything's all filled up and uh, this piece will come out absolutely stunning. As you can see, it's like this has really just been very pedantic and making sure every little spot is filled. Because the last thing you want is any of this showing in the um, uh, final piece, eh Ray? Yeah, yeah, really annoying. We're using the uh, resin squad not oil filler. Uh, this goes off in generally three to four hours. As you can see, there's like absolutely hundreds of little spots uh, that we're filling up on this table. Uh, just the most tiniest little hairlines. Hey, Bray, you got another little drip, mate, that's blowing a hole again. Yeah, yeah, I can fill that again. Okay, guys. Okay, guys, so we're um, just about to uh, seal cut the door again. And this is the last seal cut, isn't it? Yeah, and then uh, sand. And then sand and then the water. So we've gone over this and sealed it with our knot hole sealer, our knot hole resin. Um, and the reason we've done that, it goes off really quick. This will go off in about four hours time. And then, um, uh, then tomorrow, or the next day, it'll be sanded from 400 grit all the way through to 1000. And then we'll start the um, Osmo process, eh? Yeah. It's gonna be about four or five days. So in about four or five days, the starting will be done, ready to go. No, I mean four or five days, just for one side, we still have the other side. <laughs> <laughs> um, We can do it in four days, mate. Both sides. <laughs> so, yeah, uh, most likely 10 day turnaround. We just got to get this done by the end of the month before Ray goes. And uh, Ray's also got the um, swamp carry frame over here for the smoky table. 
And that's going to be done on the weekend, eh, mate? Yeah, hopefully. A long day on Saturday. Yeah. If not, if you're not going to cut up with this, and then, um, yeah, once uh, once all of that's done, happy days, get C to V finished, and then get all of these delivered, and uh, all be good. She'll all be good. <laughs>